Hey guys, welcome back to the north. The date today is uh, unknown. First week in January anyways. Beautiful day today, I tell ya. Minus 26 degrees Celsius that is. Just gonna head to beaver camp there and set some more traps for Wolverine I was setting for yesterday. I headed across there on the west line. Set a handful of traps anyways. And uh, so yeah, gonna go and check some Wolverine traps today and set a bunch more. Got a few Martin boxes, a bunch of 330s, and uh, I'd like to get most of my lag holes set. So my sleigh is packed up and pretty much ready to go. Uh, I'll pack my 270 with me today in case we see a moose or a caribou or something. Got all my bait, shovel, big sleigh. I'm using my father's wide track today because I fucked mine. Uh, first, I busted a spring on it, got that fixed, went back out, and then I busted the front shock on here. That one there popped right through the hood, so that's probably a thousand dollars to fix that, so that's no good. You see with such a little bit of snow here, like it's so rough, we only got about a foot of snow. But uh, anyways, we'll just go slow and we'll uh, carry on. So we're fighting daylight now guys, so we best get the move on and see what the trap line has in store for us today. Just pulling up to one of my first lag holds here. My coyote soft catch was sprung. We'll just investigate here and see what kind of tracks. Oh yeah, little fox tracks. Oh yeah, he's just sniffing around here. You see, he tried sneaking in from the back here as well. Let's see what a little, little guy tried getting in there. What I've been doing here now. Like this year after I seen that wolverine chewing, wolverine chewing on that moose head, I'm solid wiring all my bait right on a tree. Uh, before I just make make like a little uh, a little bait stick at camp, wire my bait on, and as I went by, I just stick it right in the snow, huh? Then the animals had come in from the back, and they just pull it out and go eat it over there. So this year I'm wiring uh, all my bait right solid on a solid tree, so they can't just pull it out. They really got to come back and chew on it in there so you know that's uh after what like i said after watching that wolverine chewing on that moose head there that i had wired to the tree and he kept coming back for it so that's what i'm doing this year so we set this uh soft catch here and hide it in the snow a little bit and uh hopefully this guy comes back maybe on the way back maybe i'll try and set a hidden leg hold in the back here uh you know i could have just scared him off because not too often they'd actually leave that bait, huh? So he'll be back. This set here, this is where I was recording that Wolverine on the trail camera last spring. I don't know if so many guys might remember that. Anyways, what I got here, I got a 330 in the front. I got an old chunk of moose bone, uh, part of a neck bone left. And in the back here, I got one hidden leg hold back on that side. And on this side here, I also have another one. So we got two hidden leg holds in the back. I thought I hit them pretty good. I don't want to go back there, kind of hoping it'll snow over a little bit and hide all my tracks. But anyways, this set here, I'm hoping to catch out Wolverine. Uh, he hasn't been back yet. I just set this yesterday, actually, but... You know, hopefully, uh, hopefully eventually I do get him. But this is a pretty good set here. I'm pretty confident I'll catch something in this set uh, sometime this year. I just scared up a flock of sharp tails. You see three there. You see right on the top of that tree. There's two more in that tree there. So, I haven't had sharp tails since last winter. You know, they're my favorite eating grouse. So we'll try and get one of these for the stew pot tonight. That'd just be great. They're the uh, biggest gross there is. Well, I did manage to get one anyways. Headshot, of course. I don't know those other two in the tree where I thought they were in that tree right up there, but they blend in so well, huh? I could hear some squabbling in the back in the bushes, but I'm not about to go hike back looking for them. One is good anyways, so. That was a flock. I seen about six, I think. They kind of flew in all different directions. This is a sharp tail. Nice sharp tail too. 
Look at that. Shot his eye right out. Perfect. Anyways, we'll carry on. Got a few more traps to check. We're just about at beaver camp. We'll keep our eyes open for uh, for some more sharp tails. These, like I said, these are the biggest birds. Uh, like one of these and a potato is enough to feed one man. So, yeah, they blend in pretty good. One time I seen a flock of 500 strong. They were everywhere. It was great. Well, it sure feels good to be back at beaver camp. Home away from home. Eventually here, at some point this winter, I'll haul out some insulation and some siding and get her all insulated and stuff. So this wolverine, he's been hanging around beaver camp. There's tracks all over the place. It's kind of snowed on now. I went back here and I set one 330 clowny bear. I was trying to, kind of hoping to get him because he's been hanging around here. It's probably the one that was recording last year as well. You know, that's only eight miles or so from here. You know, it's not too far for a wolverine to go in a day. I don't see no tracks down my trail, but let's go over here. 3.30, I baited this with lynx. And I think I threw a chunk of chicken in there. But, so yeah. It'll be good for wolverine lynx this set. I'm kind of hoping to eventually get something in here this winter. We'll just see. Nothing today. Doesn't look like anything's been around either. This is a real nice set, this one here. I'm pretty happy with it. Nothing's been around. You can see in the back, I've got my bait wired onto the tree hard with uh, one conny bear. The wolverine finds this conny bear, and I'll probably put a couple hidden lag holes around the area. I just said it yesterday, so we'll just let it sit and give it some time. There's my moose head that the wolverine was chewing on last year. I wired it in the tree here and trying to season it up a little bit. So, pretty good. I left the skull on this one. You see the uh, squirrels were chewing on it a little bit. That's fine though, just add a little bit of character to it. So, I'll hang that, uh, that moose skull on the side of beaver camp here eventually. And maybe in the springtime when I'm working around here or whatever, I'll do that, but I could hang there for now. Yeah, good old beaver camp. Don't mind the mess, guys. Uh, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time to kind of tidy up in here a little bit. The old beaver camp, she's, she's pretty cozy in here. Like I said, I'll get this all insulated and sheeted in. Uh, haul everything out and skidoo here. Corn. And uh, yeah, home sweet home. So, like my plan was to uh, to build like a little carriage for Charlie. You know, I can't bring him out in the trap line in this weather. You know, he's a kind of a wimp when it comes to the cold. So, I was thinking I'm building an insulated, uh, like a little insulated carriage for him to, for my big yellow sleigh out there. And I could bring Charlie here, and we could spend two or three nights here. You know, so. It's kind of the plan. I'm hoping to get that done here sometime this year, but uh, you know, like sometime in the next couple of weeks, but you know, we'll just see. Well, anyways, you see, you see all the little snow we got here. I only drove over this a couple times. You know, that's not even, we don't even have a foot of snow. That's so fucking rough down here too, just breaking shit. Like I said before, I busted my, my other two stroke twice. Uh, busted the spring on the undercarriage and busted the one shock on it and just now I busted the hitch on my sleigh Ain't that just fucking lovely? Look at that Fucking shared her right off. Fuck Just lovely I'm gonna have to take that and now and get that welded Fuck. Just lovely well, That's no damn good now is it? Well, yeah, I'll have to fucking Unhitch it, I guess, and rig up some rope, run it through the sides or something, and limp that back at home. Well, that's got to go to town and go see a welder now. Fuck. You see what I mean about this rough terrain? You know, you're just breaking shit. It's fucking rough on equipment. It's rough on yourself, and you know, it's kind of a pain in the ass. I've never seen the weather like this ever before. You know, this is just stupid. 
So that's just, you know, that just pisses me off. <laughs> Whatever, I don't even give a fuck, huh? It is what it is, huh? Pick up my shovel there, just about fucking rolled that skidoo. Fuck with it. That hitch dug in the ground, it fucking went forward and just about tipped me over. Fuck. Okay, guys, I'll fix my shit up here and carry on. Whatever, huh? It happens. So I'm looking at my sleigh here. I don't have the right size socket to take this hitch off. You know, I can't just leave this dangling. I don't want to fucking wreck it any more than it already is. You know, thank goodness that I left my little block sleigh back at Beaver Camp. It's about two, three miles from here. So I'll fly back there, grab my block sleigh, and, you know, take uh, my traps and my rifle. The rest of that shit can stay, I guess, and I'll have to come back with some tools and remove that hitch off there, I guess, and uh, get it back to town here, get it fixed. Okay, guys, let's head back to beaver camp. Oh, sure, I'm happy I left that block sleigh at beaver camp. So that's good, I got most of my important tools. The rest could stay with the sleigh till I come back and pull that hitch off and drag that the hell out of here. You see this one set here, this is twice now that the wolves came and took the bait out of it. You see they walk up and they know what traps are these ones for sure. So he goes up that way, looks around, look at that, he left his little mark, little piss mark just so he knows that this is uh, marking the trap, huh? I got the leg hold right down here. Not a real big wolf this one, but you know it is a wolf. So he come coming around the back here. And this is where he's been stealing the bait from, going right in the back there, huh? So what I'm gonna do here, obviously he knows what a lag hold is. I'll rebate this set here in this bag in the back. This is my wolf snaring bag. I got 20 wolf snares made in here, and also a pair of brand new leather gloves. And those gloves are only used for setting wolf snares. So I'm gonna set one here for this guy. We will just see if this wolf knows what a wolf snare is. I didn't dye these ones white, but I boiled them in spruce balls. So the first thing I'm going to do with these gloves, I'll put them on and I'll rub spruce balls all over them between my hands. I'll get the nice spruce smell in there and I'll put that snare right in there. We'll just see if this wolf knows what a snare is. You know, they're pretty smart, these wolves. Okay, I'm done with my wolf snaring gloves. So we'll go back in the bag. Well, gloves are only used for wolf snares, you know, that's that's important. Now you see what I did here with this wolf snare? I kind of tried to break up the circle a little bit. Uh, you know, kind of hide it with willows and stuff because you don't want it to stick right out because like I said, they're real smart. You want your wolf snare to be about, the bottom of the snare should be about knee height. And you guys can see that loop in there pretty good. I hit it pretty good. So anyways, yeah. So the bottom of the wolf snare, right at your knees. Uh, anyways, of course, so I got my heavy cable, then I got the heavy steel wire, and that's what I used to form it and raise it or lower it, huh? Always make sure you got your wolf snare on a, on a solid toggle if you can, because then when they pull, it'll tighten and choke them right out, huh? Like if you just cut a tree and laid it down, they could, they'll just drag that tree out of there and it might still be alive. So it looks pretty good, you know. Uh, <laughs> my odds are pretty good of getting a wolf in that snare. We'll just find out, you know, they've been back twice. So what I'll do here, I'll fix this set up, throw some more bait in there, and uh, we'll carry on. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we get a wolf in this set. It looks pretty good, man. I'm pretty confident in that. It's a nice looking set. Stay here, my Charlie. I'm gonna go check traps, my boy. Probably got a wolverine today. We'll hope for the best. You stay here and guard the cabin, okay? It's coming down one of my sets here, close to beaver camp. Looks like I had a wolverine and a number three coyote soft catch. He got out. He sure did a number on this set here, though. He pissed all over. Shit. Cocksucker. He sure chewed this up, though. Look at that, huh? Well, I don't know why the fuck this trap never held him. Fuck, look at that. Rubber's all chewed right off it. I 
here we got a hair. Shit. Fuck, this pisses me off. Fuck. Well, I just educated a wolverine anyways. Uh, it'd be pretty hard to catch this guy now. You know, anytime he sees bait or smells that lure there, he's going to be pretty fucking smart. You know, I was going to put a, a uh, 3.30 here. I was like, oh, I'll do a lag hold, you know, a nice location. I'm kind of right on the edge of a tree line here, you know, the right in the heavy timber just coming in from the open prairie there. The creek's actually about 300 yards up there. But fuck. Yeah, no, he sure, sure did a number. Anyways, he wasn't in here too long. He's probably only in here for an hour or so, just long enough to wreck the fuck out of everything and chew up a bunch of sticks. Yeah. Fuck, that's not good. Fuck. See all the rubbers fucked off his trap. That's how we got out, huh? I don't know if he chewed all that rubber off it or what, but there's just enough for him to pull it out. I could really... I could really smell wolverine piss here. I got a real strong smell of of musk, huh? So, I don't, like I said, I don't know if he chewed this fucking trap all up and chewed all that rubber off it or what. You see, my trigger's gone off it too. He probably, I'm pretty sure he just chewed the shit out of it. You see, there's a little bit of blood on there. That's probably from when he was chewing on, chewing on this trap, trying to get his foot out. You know, his lip probably stuck to the cold steel and but anyways it's kind of shitty I've never seen this before I've never had I've never had the rubber on a trap ever get chewed off or come off like that I'm pretty sure that that rubber wasn't like that because otherwise I wouldn't even have set the trap so this trap here will get hung up in the tree here somewhere and it can stay here for the rest of its days but it rusts away but yeah We'll head to beaver camp there. I only got one more 3.30 set to check. I got nothing in that one, then I'm skunked for today, but that's all right. Uh, I'll leave my traps down for a little while anyways. Now, fuck. You see, that's what the old wolverines do, man. They're pretty vicious animals. And I was thinking on, of this set too, when I headed out today, I was like, oh, this was one of the sets. I was like, that's probably get a wolverine in there because there's tracks all up and over here. This wolverine follows up and down the creek, huh? Probably the same wolverine around beaver camp. Anyways, another smart wolverine now. Uh, I'll probably be trying to catch him for the next fucking 10 years. Anyways, guys, we'll carry on. I'll reset this trap here on our way back. Shit, huh? Shitty deal. Sure is a pretty day out today. Clear skies as far as you can see. Pretty nice out. Yeah, it's always a piss off, you know, when you lose an animal in a lag hold or in any anything, you know, lose them in a snare if they get eaten or something. You know, that's it's not too good. It does happen once in a while, though, but like, fuck, man. It's kind of a piss off. I'm looking forward to skinning a wolverine tonight. That's right, I'll just have to set more traps and uh, just work a little harder at it. Who knows, maybe I'll get that wolverine eventually. It'd be nice just to run them down on skidoo and shoot them. That usually works pretty good for the smart ones. Yeah. Anyways, uh, might as well grab some gear here and go out and fucking set some wolf snares, I guess. Kind of shitty. Would have been a good day today in the north. Either way, it's still a good day, you know, whatever. Shit happens anyways, huh? Fuck. Oh well. Oh, maybe I'll make some tea before I carry on. There's a good simple trail set. One link snare. No bait required. You can put your snare right on your screw trail. The old links, he'll be walking down the trail. And uh, should get him in that snare. You see, with this little tiny bit of snow that we do have, it's pretty hard to get these animals to follow your skidoo trails. You know, when you got like two feet of snow, well, they go on a trail, it's like fucking running down a sidewalk for them. But this little tiny bit of snow, you know, it's nothing for them to go anywhere they want, you know. So they're not following the trails, you know, like, like 
if there's two feet of snow, if a link came, hit this trail, they'd follow it for miles. And now I notice you see a lot of lynx tracks, you'll just walk across the trail or follow it a little bit. That's also the same for wolves too, so it is kind of making trapping a little hard here with such a little bit of snow. Not only is it so damn rough on my machines and equipment, but you know the animals aren't following the trails, so duh. Making for a pretty tough trapping season, guys. Right up here is a pretty nice place for a wolf snare. I want to be setting my wolf snares in the willows, huh? It hides them really good. So all I'm going to do here on my main trail, I'm going to put a piece of ribbon in the tree. And I'm going to make a trail, a new trail around. And that's, a tra that's where I'll put my wolf snare on, on the new trail. When the wolves come walking down your trail, they, they see that ribbon. They're going to want to avoid it because they know that ribbon means bad news for them. So I'll pick a little trail right in through the willows here. And I'll put my lynx snare, or my, sorry, my wolf snare. I'll drive close to a big tree in there and uh, set her up and probably get a wolf. Okay hey guys, let's get started. So we got a little bit of blue ribbon there. And we got a nice chunk of orange one here as well. So this will be enough, just that little bit of ribbon there. That'll be enough to detour these wolves. They, they don't want to go near this ribbon, so we'll find a nice place right in there. A nice wolf snare there in the willows. So in my bag here, I got my wolf snaring gloves and my snares. Again, this, the gloves go on only for setting wolf snares. So I don't want to be making any tracks in the snow, so I'm going to work off my sleigh. I've got my gloves and my snare. I'll stand on the back of the sleigh and I'll wire right on that spruce tree there. So there we go. That don't look too bad. Looks about the right height. Bottom of the snare to the knees. Got her tied on that good solid tree real good. When the wolves get caught in that snare, they're gonna pull her tight and they'll get tangled up all around these trees and should choke them out. Now you see, the thing about setting it this way here, you don't gotta be moving that, that snare every time you go by because every time you handle it, you leave scent on it. So I won't touch the snare again until I take it down or until I take a wolf out of it. So it's good. Okay guys, well, uh, Carry on, and I'd like to get a few more wolf snares set today, but this is how I'll do most of them. A lot of the little side trails, I'll just run my skidoo down and do a trail set, but this is a pretty good way to do it. Okay, let's carry on. So you see here on this snare here, you see I got a little tiny piece of uh, squirrel snare wire. That just kind of helps hold the form of your snare. If not, it kind of shapes down like an oval, so I figured, you know, those work pretty good. Uh, yeah, so anyways, this is a nice little spot here. Should have grabbed some willows and stuck a couple willows there. But, you know, that's fine. You can see right out there, I got my my little ribbon on the main trail. And here's another little side trail. Hey guys, pretty nice day here in the north today. Uh, minus 36 out today. I went outside to have a piss this morning there and I knew right away, I was like, holy man, she's a cold one today. Fucking piss just about froze before it hit the ground, huh? So I went and checked my thermometer there and it's minus 36 degrees Celsius. So I was going to go out and carry on with my wolf uh, snaring operation here today, but you know, minus 36 is pretty cold to be working on the trap line. You know, you got to, your fucking hands freeze if you take your gloves off. Skidoo's don't run so good. Uh, shit breaks all the time in this weather. You know, that cold, it, it sure, sure is hard on equipment, huh? So... I think today here I'll hang around until around lunchtime and I'll hopefully it warms up a little bit, you know, maybe even 30 in the 20s would even be good. Go out and cut a couple loads of wood, let my wolf snares sit, uh, wolf snares and traps sit for a night, I guess, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we get some more snow that'll definitely help with the wolf snaring operation. 
So I set uh, eight or nine wolf snares yesterday. I'd like to get a few more set. I gotta make up for all the lost fucking weeks that uh, I couldn't make it on the trap line when we had no snow, so I'll have to make up with that. Make up that profit and wolf pelts. You know, they're worth the most money, so uh, hopefully I still remember how to snare these wolves. You know, it's been a while since I went hard on them, but uh, yeah, I guess we'll just see what happens in the weeks to come, huh? Got a few months left at it anyways, so uh, let's just pray for some snow and uh hopefully the wolves hang around so uh yeah that's a plan for today guys okay talk to you another day